Are you intimidated that I'm friends with a ton of wealthy celebrities and your only friend is a monkey? Uh, again, not nice. Um, but now they've split after just nine months together. E! News reports their busy schedules kept them apart from each other and they decided to end things. Are you craving some cheesecake with the girls? Thank you for being afraid. I might just be able to have some of Beverly Hills Bistro has been transformed into the Golden Girls Kitchen. That's what it's called. They're doing some bang-up business. It's a pop-up. Features menu items like Sophia's lasagna, Scandinavian treats from St. Olaf, Minnesota that I cannot pronounce, and of course lots and lots of different flavors of cheesecake. The L.A. pop-up is there through October. There are plans to bring it to other big cities, New York included, and of course Miami too. Always a good day here at 1010 Wins and we can play the Golden Girl theme song for you. Take a look at Curb Your Enthusiasm. Larry could have died. Yeah, a series showrunner saw the Hollywood Reporter. They shot a death scene for Larry David just in case season 11 was the show's last on HBO. It wasn't. So the scene with Larry drowning in his pool after he refused to build a fence around it won't ever be seen. Work is beginning now on season 12. Wednesday News Time 939. We'll take a look at our headlines, our top stories. Everything you need to know is next. Sometimes life is wonderful, and sometimes it's not. Cherish the good, but always be prepared for life's challenges. At Private Healthcare, we provide the peace of mind you deserve. With Private Healthcare, you'll get the coverage you want and healthcare you need. If your employer doesn't supply healthcare coverage and you don't qualify for Medicare or Medicaid, you need to give us a call right now. Private health care is private health insurance for ages 65 and under with medical, dental, vision, and even prescription coverage. When life comes at you unexpectedly, you need to be ready, and health insurance is your financial safety net. If you're looking for health coverage at the best price and your annual household income is $35,000 or more, give us a call. At 800-719-5675. That's 800-719-5675. 800-719-5675. Whether it's Alexa, Google Home, your iPhone, or the car radio, stay with 1010 Winds and stay connected. The news watch never stops. This is 1010 Winds. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world. Good morning, 77 degrees, sunny skies, awfully humid out there at 940 on this Saturday, August 6th. I'm Brian Britton. Here's what's happening. Wild shootout in Queens. Three teenagers and a 24-year-old man started firing guns into a crowd at a house party. Police intervene and shoot them. We've got a live report in seconds. The humidity does continue, not just about the heat either. We have a air quality health advisory in place as of 11 a.m. We'll tell you what that means. Indiana, now the first state in the nation to enact a law with a near total ban on abortion after Roe v. Wade was overturned. Actress Anne Heche fighting for her life after a fiery car crash in California. And a Brooklyn pizza store owner says he'll trade pies for his signature. This guy got beamed in the head with a foul ball. He wants Aaron Judge to sign it. We'll tell you what's going on with that. In sports, Yankees and Mets both lost. AccuWeather, humid, hot, really just gross. Possibility of an afternoon or evening thunderstorm. High today, 87. Wings News Time, 941. Traffic and transit. Here's Jody Vale. From Brian, temperatures rising in Connecticut. We're crawling. Connecticut Turnpike is the crash northbound right near Atlantic Street. Exit 8 in Stanford. That last lane is closed at least. Jams are going back to Greenwich. Merrick looks much better. Take it. Westbound Hutch, that's slow to the Cross County, Westchester. And the Westbound Cross Bronx, we're seeing those slowdowns. Webster Avenue heading to the apartment. So let's check it out. Here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. 5 to 10 in at the George, about 10 minutes outbound from the Cross Bronx. And there's a slowdown northbound Harlem River Drive up to the George. And in at the Lincoln and Holland, just looking at some minor delays both ways. In Manhattan on the west side, southbound Henry Hudson. That's a crash blocking the lane around 125th Street. Another crash on the east side, on the FDR southbound. This is right around the east 80s. And those delays are starting to build up. Traffic and transit every 10 minutes on the lines of breaking alerts when they happen on 1010 Winds. All righty, Jody, thank you. Let's get an update now on a story we've been telling you about here on 1010 Winds. Violent late night shootout during a house party. Spilled out onto the streets in Laurelton, Queens. Carol Dioria live on the scene for us this morning. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Brian. This is indeed a very active police investigation, so the details are developing and changing. But the latest is 
There was a shooting at a house on 219th Street and 130th Avenue. Here is Deputy Police Commissioner Julian Phillips. The shooter was outside of the house from what we know at this particular point in time. There was a party going on at the location, uh, but uh, shots were fired outside of the location, and that's where the gunfire was exchanged. And the shooting was between two groups at this house party. The police were there almost immediately. The police pulled their guns as well, and he says the cops actually fired 14 rounds. How many rounds the others fired is unclear, but in the end, four people were injured. One of the four is in critical condition. Earlier today, uh, Police Chief Madry said he thought that perhaps the cops uh, shot and injured three people. That's unclear, um, but they'll know as they do ballistic testing. Carol DeUria, 1010 Williams Live at 219th Street in Lawson, Queens. Carol, thank you. Wins News Time 943. The NYPD out with the latest statistics on crime. Not looking so good for the month of July. Crime in the city jumped 31% in July of 2022 compared with July of 2021. The crime climb attributed to a 34% jump in murders, 13% jump in shootings, grand larcenies are up by 41%, robberies up by 37%. Take a look at the weather and you know how it feels if you open the door, open the window, that heaviness, that mugginess, warm and humid seems to be the go-to forecast for us this summer. Ryan, it's pretty warm out there for this weekend, but it's more about the humidity and what it feels like this weekend into early next week. That makes this stretch of weather just so tough. We're heading up to 87 degrees for this afternoon. Real feels into the mid-90s with that humidity tomorrow, well, around 90 degrees, but we'll push those real feel temperatures into the upper 90s. No break from this uh, weather pattern into Monday or Tuesday as well and be aware if you're heading out to area beaches for today we do have a moderate risk for rip currents that is especially for those south facing beaches out on long island Brian. Thank you, others. Matt Benz in Central Park, 77 right now, mostly sunny, going up to 87, humidity at 73%. Air Quality Health Advisory issued for Long Island and New York City. The pollutant of concern is ozone. That advisory in effect at 11 a.m. this morning. Ozone makes it very difficult to breathe, especially for those with respiratory issues. Texas Governor Republican Greg Abbott now sending buses of migrants to New York City. Mayor Adams calling it a political stunt. Says it's disgusting, says Abbott is using human beings as political pawns. Buses arriving yesterday. New York Attorney General Letitia James says she wants to make sure the migrants are taken care of. I'm more concerned about the individuals who are on the bus. I uh, want to ensure that they are um, taken care of. It's important that we respect their rights and if they apply for asylum in this country, then they should be afforded the protections that our laws provide. New York, one of the few cities in America with right to housing laws, meaning the city is required to provide emergency shelter for every unhoused person. Wins News Time 945. Once again, here's Mark Renee with sports. Oh, we'll see if the Yankees can avoid their first four-game losing streak of the season when Aaron Boone's bunch continues a three-game series tonight in St. Louis. You know, it's not easy for us right now. You know, it's, it's kind of close. You know, a lot of good at fast up and down, but just couldn't get that one big backbreaker to kind of, you know, Pull away. Yanks last night led three to one in the fifth inning, but lost four three when Clay Holmes gave up a two run double in the bottom of the eighth. Domingo Herman will take the mound this evening against former Yankee Jordan Montgomery, who was traded by the Bombers just this week. Meantime, the Mets play two more games against the Braves at City Field. David Peterson pitches the 110 matinee before Max Scherzer starts the nightcap. And this afternoon, it's Pro Football Hall of Fame Day. The late Sam Mills among the eight-member class of 2022, and Giants legend Lawrence Taylor told Panthers.com it's been a long time coming for the New Jersey native. Great player, you know, you know, I hate that he, you know, left it so early and everything, but uh, he deserves to be here, he deserves to be in this place, this is his home, and boy, it's back from home, and um, uh, I'm just happy for him. Mills, he passed away in 2005 came out of then Division Three Montclair State before playing three years in the USFL and a dozen seasons in the NFL. Also tonight at MetLife Stadium, the Jets have their annual green and white game. Mark and A, 1010 wins sports. Thanks, nice. Mark. Wins news time 947. Indiana has become the first state in the nation to enact a law with a near total ban on abortion after the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. Minutes after the legislature finished voting, 28-19 on the ban, Republican Governor Eric Holcomb signed it. 
the ACLU vows to repeal. The ACLU of Indiana's statement on the abortion bill. It reads in part, it is a dark day in the state of Indiana. The General Assembly has passed a ban on abortion, turning back the clock 50 years on Hoosiers' fundamental right to control their own body. Correspondent Debbie Knox, the ban takes to effect September 15th. Abortion is still legal, though, in the case of rape or incest as long as it is before 10 weeks of gestation. Other exceptions include to protect the life of the mother and if a fetus is diagnosed with a lethal anomaly. Actress Anne Heche fighting for her life after a fiery car crash in California. Residents ring camera caught images and sound of Heche's blue Mini Cooper speeding down a residential street in Mar Vista. Her car hit a curb, launched 30 feet before slamming into a house and bursting into flames. This neighbor saw it happen, says the homeowner who was outside with her dogs was very lucky. Well, luckily, she didn't get hurt, and neither did her two dogs. Hayes is in critical condition, though, at an area hospital. No other injuries reported. The house did catch on fire and does have structural damage. Conspiracy theorist Alex Jones being ordered to pay tens of millions of dollars for defaming the parents of Sandy Hook victims after years of claiming the shooting didn't actually happen. He finally now admits it did. After the jury awarded the parents of two Sandy Hook victims $4 million this week, rather than the $150 million they were asking for, Alex Jones called it a victory for truth. But then the jury went back to work deciding on punitive damages meant to punish somebody for egregious behavior and came back with $45 million more. Jones being ordered to pay around $50 million in total. His team says it will appeal in court, Jones admitted, despite his years of claims, that he now believes the Sandy Hook shooting was 100% real. Alex Stone, EBC News. Wings News Time 949. We'll take a look at traffic and get the full active of the four-day forecast straight ahead. Every single day, thousands of distressed Catholics sitting alone in self-accusers, forced to endure the intense fear and loneliness of abandonment as well as the risk of being euthanized. At Golden Plus Society, we are dedicated to the rescue of shelter cats and giving them all they need to be adopted into their forever homes. To find out more about our life-saving mission, go to goldenplussociety.org. That's goldenplussociety.org. Sponsored by Golden Plus Society. Hi, this is Stu Leonard. My wife Kim and I lost our two-year-old son Stewie to a drowning accident. You know what we learned? If everyone is watching, no one is watching. Don't take your eyes off your child. When Kim and I are around the water with our grandsons, our phones are down and our eyes are open. Unfortunately, drowning accidents have increased during COVID. Be safe. Phones down, eyes open. Learn more at StewieTheDuck.org. <laughs> Do you have bad credit but need a new car? Call Credit Solutions, a division of Hudson Hyundai. It's easy to apply right over the phone. Call 800-951-4221. Hudson Hyundai has over 425 vehicles available. Stop hunting and start driving a new Hyundai today. Tier 1 customers can drive a new Hyundai Tucson, Santa Fe, Palisade, or even the all-new fully electric Ionic 5 with only $68 down. That's just $68 down on over 425 cars, trucks, and SUVs available. Call 1-800-951-4221. That's 800-951-4221. And all-new Hyundais come with Hyundai Assurance and America's best 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Call Hudson Hyundai in Jersey City for a pre-approval. 800-951-4221. That's 800-951-4221. Or HudsonHyundai.com.